Hello there. Welcome back to Dr. K. Prem Primer Lecture Series presenting by Dr. K. Prem. That's me. Today we will uh, talk about phase mids. E H A G E M I D. Phase mids. Phase mids or hybrid vectors or chimeric vectors have the properties of both plasmids and single strand DNA phases. Phase mids are hybrid or chimeric vectors have a properties of plasmids and phases. Such vectors are called as phase mids. Phase mids can exist double strand, double strand DNA molecules. Are single strand DNA molecules. Phase mids can exist as a single strand DNA vectors or double strand DNA vectors. So, whenever a phase mid uses the plasmid origin of replication, whenever a phase mid uses the origin of a plasmid origin of replication, then phase mid will be in the double strand. DNA molecule. When uh, phase mid uses the FAS M13 or M F1 origin of replication, and that phase mid exists as a single strand DNA molecule. So the phase mids are the phase mid vectors are available or ma maintained and replicated as double stranded vectors or single strand vectors it depends on whether this host is infected with the m13 or not m13 or not so here phase mids or hybrid or chimeric vectors have the features features of both plasmid and phases okay so in the next slide we'll talk about how to construct the a phase mid by taking a pmbl8 phase mid construction okay so here this one is a for a while i'll uh, close it you see pd4 is a vector having the two antibiotic selection marker that is tetracycline resistance gene and ampicin resistance gene and uh, plasmid origin of replication and it's hosting a f1 intragenic region f1 intragenic region whose length is 1300 base space this intragenic region is flanked by Two restriction sites, eco R1. Both the eco R1. So eco R1 restriction sites are there either side of the uh, intragenic region of uh, F1 phase in uh, PD4. You can see here PUC8. So PUC8 have uh, PLAC promoter, multiple cloning site, LAC Z region, and anti ampicillin resistance marker, and origin of replications. So, you, as I told you that in the first slide, the phase mids are hybrid vectors of plasmid and phases. So, to construct the phase mid, we need phase sequence that's an intragenic sequence intragenic region of phase and a plasmid here puc8 serves the serves as a plasmid and and the intragenic region of f1 uh, serves as the phase so puc8 have a nar1 site in the lag z region hence the puc8 is digested with the NAR1 and followed by the BAL31 treatment. 
So when uh, when uh, PUC eight is diaged with the R one, then uh, the circular DNA molecule is linearized, and uh, when it further it is uh, subjected to the BAL thirty one, that's an endonuclease, which is having the property to chop down the chop down the single strand DNA in a DNA or RNA. In duplex DNA, duplex DNA or RNA, so endonuclease which can cut the single strand regions in the double strands. So by that, by the action of uh, BAL thirty one, so the NAR one digested a PUC eight have become a linearized and blunted uh, DNA molecule. Now PD four uh, digested with the ECOR one. That releases the F1 intragenic region. When you digest the PD4 with the EQR1 enzyme, and that releases the intragenic region of F1. Then EQR1 digested intragenic region is uh, subjected to the Clino fragment. Clino fragment fills the Uh, cohesive ends, which are at the ends of uh, intragenic region, and again it makes the blunt ends. So blunt ended, blunt ended uh, uh, PUC eight and blunt ended uh, uh, intragenic region of F one are ligated with the by employing the P four DNA ligase. So intragenic region of F one and uh, PUC eight linearized PUC eight ligated gives the uh, gives the a molecule consists of both plasmid and phase DNA molecule. Both the chimeric or hybrid vector will have the both plasmid and uh, phase DNA. Such such vectors are called as phase mids. You can see phase mid now. So this is a, a portion of a plasmid, and to that the F1 intragenic region is joined, and such vector, uh, this chimeric molecule or hybrid 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 molecule, is called as a phase mid. So phase mid have the plasmid features as well as the phase PHEG phase uh, features, and that uh, that both Both versions are clubbed, and that becomes the phase mid. You see, phase mid. Now we'll see the uh, uh, same thing. We will study here, here represented. You can see phase mid have plasmid origin of replication, plas uh, plasmid origin of replication, antibiotic selection marker, and uh, black promoter, and multiple cloning site. And lag Z region, the same thing. Plasmid origin of replication, antibiotic selection marker, multiple cloning site, lag Z for visual detection of recombinants, and uh, so with this it can replicate as a plasmid. Now, in addition to the uh, plasmid features, phase mid also have F1 intragenic region. The F1 intragenic region have a Cis elements for uh, F1, cis elements for DNA replication. That, that that's nothing but uh, F1 origin of replication, as well as uh, it have a regulatory or gene regulatory elements or genes for uh, phase morphogenesis. So by using the F1 origin of replication, the phase mid can uh, replicate as a single strand DNA molecule. Whereas the same phase phase mid can use the plasmid origin of replication and it replicates as a plasmid which will be double strand DNA molecule, right? Understand? The next slide here you see phase mids vectors contains the elements of both M13 or F1 or F3 phases and plasmid that hybrid vectors are called as phase mids. So plasmid. Plus uh, phases are called as phase mids. So here PMBL eight 
is constructed by using the PUC8 and the 39 base pairs of F1. That's an intragenic region, which is essential for DNA replication and phase morphogenesis. As I told you, phase mates have two origin of replication. One is plasmid origin of replication and F1 origin of replication. And uh, laxate region is there, multiple cloning site is there, and uh, antibiotic selection marker, that's a BLA gene, that's a beta lactamase. So when a, when a plasmid is there in the E. coli, right? When a phase mid is there in the E. coli, that phase mid is replicated and propagated as a plasmid. At the same time, if, if that strain, that host is super infected with the M13, then the plasmid stops replicating as a plasmid. Instead, it uh, replicates as a phase mid and gives the single strand DNA, single strand DNA molecule upon super infection. Right? So you see, vector is propagated and replicated as a plasmid when it is all alone in E. coli. When a phase mid is all alone in the E. coli, it acts as a plasmid. But whenever such strain is infected with the F1, then the origin of replication is used, F1 origin of replication is used, and single strand DNA molecule is produced and released into the media. So this is what is the phase mates features. And what are the advantages of the phase mates? First thing is that uh, the cloned phase mates produce a single strand DNA molecules. So via uh, single strand DNA molecule by using the F1 origin of replication. So they can be used for DNA sequencing via Sanger's method. Purification of the constructs are also easy because uh, single strand DNA constructs are released into the media uh, when they are produced in the cell. So purification of the constructs also easy. Upon super infection, virion capsids with a single strand uh, DNA excreted into culture media. So phase mates can uh, host or accommodate longer uh, inserts and they have higher stability in phase mate over the M13 based vectors, right? So we have seen the construction and the features and advantage of phase mates. So this ends the our lecture and I have prepared this lecture based on these two papers. If at all you have any doubts and uh, please refer them for more clarification. And if you like my lecture, try to subscribe my channel. That's uh, Dr. K Prem Primer. And uh, if you have any comments, please let me know through the comment session. Okay, I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. Okay. Okay, I'm taking bye. See you again with the one more video. Until then, bye. Good night. Have a good day. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. That's a Dr. K Prime Primer.